All right, what's up, guys? Um, this is probably the dumbest um, idea I've ever had, but uh, today we're going to be ranking struggle meals. If you don't know what those are, a uh, struggle meal is basically like a meal that you eat when you're either lacking in funds or uh, you're just straight up losing your mind. So, you know, either, either you're broke or you're just going through it. That is what I consider a struggle meal to be. And uh, I got like... It's either eight or nine on here. It's nine. There we go. I just counted. We got nine things on here, and uh, we're gonna put them on this tier list because um, even though it's 2023, we're gonna act like it's 2019. Uh, so first, we're just gonna start with the um, classic ramen noodles. I'm gonna put these in ace here because they're they're very solid. Only issue is is you know it's just a lot of user error involved. Ramen noodles. They're not hard to cook, it's just if you fuck them up, you fuck them up. And then it kind of it kind of just ruins the whole meal. Um, of course, we are talking about the chicken ramen specifically. All these pictures are specific to the items, you know, it's not just one certain kind. Um, it's not like general description, it's the exact picture. Um, but we are talking about chicken ramen. In my opinion, the best uh, ramen, but my opinion might not matter to you. It probably shouldn't. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, but, um, chicken ramen is very solid, A tier, it's just, you know, uh, it's easy to fuck up, kind of, you know, if you don't cook it long enough, you know, the noodles kind of like, they're still kind of hard a little bit, they're a little bit doughy, so that's a problem, and then too, if you eat too much of it, you know, it kind of, kind of gets sickening, but, you know, once again, we're talking about in when you're in this certain position, you don't have a lot of choice, right? There's only nine things on this list. So Robbie Doodle is all things considered solid A tier struggle bill. Uh, next, we're going to hit up the uh, ham and cheese sandwich. This is going to go in B tier. Uh, frankly, I just think a little bit, it might be, it might be too dry. And... Um, like honestly all things considered ham and cheese is fine it's just you know it's a ham and cheese sandwich you know like it's not really very complete it's not very filling um and like even looking at this picture that picture is making it look pretty unappetizing uh you know you gotta admit that's a pretty unappetizing picture ham and cheese is perfectly fine uh me personally like to do a ratio you gotta have two pieces of ham to one piece of cheese and um you know it's honestly i just i don't know i'm not a big fan of having things too cheesy but um you know it's not you know it's not it's not great but it is pretty good next up we're gonna have a variation on ham and cheese this is a grilled ham and cheese solid s tier struggle build now this does take some extra preparation you know it's not just a throw together thing um you actually have to uh grill this just in a pan um but if you do it well and you do it right that is an s tier struggle bill right there and that picture specifically is probably the best example i have of making that now when it comes to a grilled ham and cheese of course you can't you can't do the ratio uh so you do have to equal out the cheese and the ham or you know just put however much you want on there but if you want it to actually melt you do have to use two pieces of cheese which is a little bit unfortunate but um like, even just looking at the picture, that shit looks so good, bro. Like, you really... I might make one myself. I'm not even fit a... I'm not even fit a lie here right now. That shit looks good. Grilled ham and cheese is a solid S tier. Not even, like, any debating. Next up, though, we're gonna... Since we're sticking in sandwiches for a minute, um, PB and J is gonna go in beats here as well. Similar issue as to the, uh, ham and cheese. Uh, but the biggest issue with PB&J is really, it's just, it's a snack. You know, we're, we're talking about struggle meals here. PB&J is a snack. That's not going to fill anybody up. And, uh, if it is, you know, we're talking about multiples here. And, um, honestly, compared to the other things on this list, honestly, beats here, shit, this might be C. And I love PB&J, I'm just saying. It's not very filling. And, you know, we're, we're talking about struggle meals. We're talking about cheap things that can that can keep a human being alive, PB&J might honestly be like, you know, luxury in a bad way. It might be, it might be like the fine dining of struggle meals, but 
you know, it's kind of like those gourmet, gourmet places where you don't get anything on the plate, but it's still like $60. That's kind of what PB&J is, you know? It's like you're using, you're using the same bread it takes to make a ham and cheese, but you're eating like nothing, you know? But uh, since we're talking about luxury items, let's get into McDonald's. Uh, the McChicken, I'm gonna put that in seats here as well. Only issue with the McChicken is just the price. Uh, this used to be like a, a high up item. It used to be, um, used to be S tier, honestly. But, uh, you know, it's just too expensive now. Recession money is not good money. And the McChicken is now like $2. It's like, how are you, how are you supposed to afford that? Uh, you know, the McChicken is made for people who, who, like I said, either lacking in funds or lacking in therapy. And uh, you, you expect me to pay $2 for that. Frankly, I consider it a bit of a ripoff, you know. Price doubled overnight, and I just, personally, I can't back that up. Uh, I, I love it, love it to death, but it is not all that. Especially, you know, there used to be this coupon in the McDonald's app. You used to be able to get any size fry with a $1 purchase. Not, not just like a medium, it could be any size. So what I used to do, I used to get a chicken and a large fry. I'd get all that for 107 because tax. You can't do that anymore, unfortunately, because the chicken went up and then, you know, McDonald's is stingy now. Their coupons are ass. But um, unfortunately, like this, this probably would have been ARS, ARS here. And now it's just C because, you know, why would I? It's it in the PFR Jolly Sale. Just like, it's like fine dining. For no reason. It's like these are very simple things, but you want me to pay more than they're worth. I just I can't back it up. Uh, we're gonna put double cheeseburger and A's here. Uh, now it is a bit more expensive, but like I said, for what you're getting, it actually is a great value. Double cheeseburger, I believe, is on like the two for three or whatever it is. So you get two of these things for about three dollars, and um, that honestly that could last. You know, if you're if you're a reasonable person and you're not just like downing these things, like just munching on them, I don't know what to fucking say. If you're just if you're not just like devouring these things, you could make two double cheeseburgers last two meals. You know, one for now, one for later, and for three dollars, I think that is a great value. Like genuinely, you know, if we're, if we're talking about struggle meals here. Double cheeseburger might be one of the best struggle meals out there, which, you know, you wouldn't think. This is what I'm trying to say here. It's like struggle meals don't have to be bad. They could be good food, too. It's just not, you know, usually good food. But um, we're going to go on a cornflakes. This is just straight up F tier. Like I, I added I added F tier to this just for fucking cornflakes. It is. And I, and I love cornflakes. It's just this. I can't shake it gives off the vibes of like the forced 40 year old dad, you know, and, um, you know, I will, I hope to never be in that position in my life, but, um, you know, there have been times where I, where I've eaten cornflakes and, um, they have not been great times in my life. So just, just for that, we're going to put it in F tier, you know, um, and here, and especially, we're talking about eating cornflakes uh, corn just straight raw with nothing on it. Um, even even on the box, it's got strawberries in it. Um, but me, personally, the times I've eaten cornflakes, I eat them straight with milk. And yeah, there's, there's a reason why they're not advertised like that. There's a reason why it's not advertised like that, because that is one of the most depressing ways to eat a cereal ever gonna bring up the fucking apple cinnamon oatmeal that's a solid b tier um it's kind of like it's kind of like the uh, grilled ham and cheese where it takes preparation but uh the preparation with that isn't terrible you know it's not like bad preparation it's just you know you gotta like heat up water you gotta you know mix it all together you gotta get the consistency right i like to have my oatmeal kind of like um i don't know the word kind of like thick so, you know, you got to make sure you get the consistency right. You don't make it runny with too much water in it. 
but um it's good you know like it's kind of kind of like pb and j where it's like a little bit of a snack but you know we're you know um the last thing on here actually has got to complement it pr uh, perfectly we got the bacon sandwich this is an s tier not s tier well not nah, it is now actually i put it in an a but we will put it in s tier just for the just for shits and giggles um the bacon sandwich is quite possibly one of the dumbest things i've ever created um back when i was just blowing through everything i had i couldn't really afford to go get anything to eat so I had to get crafty put two pieces of bacon fold it together in between some bread and that was a genuine meal to me i ate that and i actually enjoyed it guys this is this is what struggle bills are about they're not just about being broke they're also about being grateful for what you got because every time i've had a bacon sandwich <laughs> every time i've had a bacon sandwich i have felt like complete for some reason i felt complete after eating it i don't know why and i don't know how but um every time i've had one it's just made me feel positive which it shouldn't but it does and um we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave it there i think the bacon sandwich is a great place to leave it off on um you know thinking about it now i could have added like a lot more things on here but you know this is this is all personal experience you know these are all struggle meals that i've had so you know no like uh like hot dog sandwiches or whatever the hell on here um even though that is pretty popular i've just me personally i've never been down that bad so um i'm gonna leave it off there Tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Just playing. Don't do that. In fact, dislike. Please dislike this shit. And um, hopefully I'll post something better soon. I don't know.